Greetings, mate, and welcome back to Ixion with me, GD, and um, population transfer complete. We're moving around some people. We're orbiting around this gas giant, which the has to has be the oddest game. gas giant I've ever seen. Like, who has windows on the side of their gas giant? Like, they're, they're, they're square. Well, a square as an airplane window gets, I guess. That's odd. Super, super odd. But, you know, this system has been super odd no matter what. Um, Yeah, I've just been just shuffling people around sector to sector to sector. Uh, yeah, it's perfectly fine. Uh, actually, well, I'm sure. Let's start with that. Uh, administrator, the crew members are spreading rumors about DLS. We're done? They think they're under constant observation. The information they receive has been changed to encourage them to comply with Dolos uh, guidelines. Shh. Secret. They are not wrong. Their <laughs> interpretation of the process is crude. They are not being monitored but recorded. So if there was ever any doubt about their e about an individual, their behavior record could be reviewed. Information is not altered but expressed to the individual in a personalized manner to ensure their continued emotional stability. Sta st stability. Should a statement be made in response to the rumors? We've got nothing to acknowledge. You are not monitored. You are recorded. You're not being lied to. We merely adapt our speech. It's necessary to protect ourselves from deviant, uh, deviance, uh, from deviant and conspiratorial behavior. The data practices are managed by the PA of the Tycoon. As administrator, I'm also under their supervision. The systems are crucial for the balance of the station. Sure. And nothing. Okay, I'll take a sure and nothing. All right. Ah, uh, probes. Let's start with probes because probes. Uh, we need to hit something down here somewhere. There, there, there's something to hit. Uh, we also need to hit. Uh, that looks like it's done. That looks like it's done. Uh, sure, giant chunk of iron here somewhere there. All right, and one more probe. Uh, yep, yep, yep. That'll do. All right, uh, meanwhile, let's look at 12G. Okay, the, the gas giant with the windows. Uh, the probe detected abnormal mineralogy activity present at 12G. Calling in question our theoretic models. Not surprised, the gas giant has windows. We've descended the atmosphere of 12G. Updrafts and downdrafts of ionized hydrogen form purple shaded tornadoes and immense green cumulo cumulonimbus clouds. A group of tornadoes surrounding surround and circle a massive cyclone on the planet large enough to be large enough aside we observe from space okay so we do a basic analysis set up a measuring device or launch an automo uh, autonomous uh, analyst probe we're gonna do that i think and i need to grab mule from sector one yep because it's doing nothing at all times and we're right here, so that should be a very, very quick transfer. Okay. In the meantime, science is ticking over. Sector 5 has people starving. Probably because they arrived just after mealtime. Uh, how many? 60. Yeah, they arrived probably just after mealtime. Uh, we are filling up with hydrogen. I'm going to turn you off. Yes. Okay, uh, Sector 6. What I did want to do is we did do the research for more algae farms. We don't really need them, but, you know, why the hell not? We'll just throw the these on the end. And everything here is full of food. Can I have... No, there's no other storage upgrades. Uh, we've got the hull upgrade for 10%, 20%, and also less damage from impacts. Um, other useful research? Permanent monitoring. Up. Oh, wrong button. That one. That one. Cue that. That way we can get the nuclear power plant one. And then we need to get all the polymer ones so we can get the other nuclear power plant one. Uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah. And this will give us even more food. Uh, as for moving around colonists, I was making sure, well, these numbers all said 800 piece at the same... Here, there we go. It's cycle 1825. Uh, at the same time, time was trying to make sure I had a few workers spare. What's sector five? Oh, sector five is meant to do nuclear. That needs 45 workers a piece. Uh, okay, so I want to make sure sector five has like an extra hundred workers in it, which we can grab from sector one. What's sector one doing? Sector 1 needs 15, needs 25 extra workers. 
So I can probably grab 80. Uh, okay, so let's go sector one to sector five workers. Let's go with 70 to keep things uh, a little bit uh, on the, 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 keep a few spares. Okay, and I'm gonna send 70 colonists from there to there. Uh, that gives me 230 colonists there. You have, uh, so let's do, so it's brought me up another 75, but you guys need 45 each. Okay, so we're going to do sector 2 to sector 5 workers. I can send across another 70 uh, migration, and then colonists? Sure. Uh, colonists from five to two. Okay. And sector three. Sector three is boring, isn't it? Yes, do a whole lot of nothing. Population checks are complete. Uh, maybe that's enough. Like, I don't know how many nuclear reactors I'm going to have to kick in action. And I sort of want to have the population there beforehand just in case. Uh, we'll go from three to five workers, a hundred and yeah uh non-workers from five to three and ship 100 back all right so you all should still have 800 except for sector four which is the training sector which is slowly training workers uh training colonists but slowly sl can i get a breakdown on everything not really but there's like a 1300 colonists already and about the same in non-workers. So I've got like half the crew trained, ready to go. Okay, uh, 12G. Uh, the drone fabrication pattern. Cootie uh, man, cootie man. Took off from the cargo bay of the gear and descended into the lower atmosphere. The collected data now allowed the crew to update their model models of 12G. The team has concluded that pulsar activity of the system has had a significant impact on the atmospheric conditions present at 12G. The final anonymous observer was unexplainable without external factors. Okie dokie. Uh, leave the planet. Whilst departing for 12G, the crew of the gear spotted something unusual, different from the observed medical um, meteorological phenomenon. Translucent tubular formation pierces the cloud cover and rises high into the atmosphere. Okay. Approach the area where the tube formation rises from the clouds or leave. I guess we can fly by and have a look. Okay. Do we see tubes? I don't see tubes. I don't see tubes from orbit. Population okay. Uh, probes. We have nothing here to probe. There's definitely iron there to probe. There is... Uh, point of interest there to probe and there's nothing there to probe but there is stuff here to probe okay uh we've still got mining drones out mining things we've still got clean up drones cleaning up things we've got another 50 science uh where are we up to in research okay so we're doing the permanent monitoring which then means i can do the nuclear power plant you have an upgrade to make you travel faster. Yeah, I don't need that. Yeah, okay. Up. Uh, all right. First, we see images of the gear indicate the presence of a huge translucent tubular formation. Upon approach, it uh, appears to possess illuminescent properties around the formation. The meteorologic activity is almost calm and glimpses the planet's truly. Tulika? Yep, core can be seen. The captured imagery disproves the hypothesis of the crew hallucination. The team wishes to continue with further analysis. Okay, uh, so our choices are authorized external analysis of the tubing. Okay, sure. Seems fine so far. We're just giving them permission to fly closer, I guess. I guess. All right, probes, uh, so that's done. That's all looks to be done. That's done, that's done. That's the point of interest we already fired a probe at. There's probably more resources there. There's probably more resources there. 
There is maybe. Oh, there's probably some carbon there. Yeah, I, probes are nothing. We're just going to keep firing them off. I, I, I have probes on probes on probes to spare. Uh, and we should be burning ice in Sector 6, right? Yes, so we're burning ice in Sector 6, which means I should have garbage. Which means you guys should be flat out doing microchips. Which means I should have plenty of microchips, I hope. Okay. Uh, yeah, I gathered that. Uh, we might be all probed out. Yeah, I need I need those probes to lo uh, land. Okay, um, data collected is quite contradictory. The majority of the missions match those taken in area, other areas of 12G's atmosphere. However, readings from the beacons seem to fluctuate. Isolating these anomalies whilst excluding the background data suggests the tubing generates a weak electromagnetic field, beta radiation, and frowns tachyons. The GEARS team established several theories and are recommending a more invasive follow-up study. Mission safety protocols advise that the team who are exhibiting a concerning form of fascination for the tubing should be repressurated. So we can uh, initialize invasive analysis tube, uh, we'll perform an EVA, install sensor beams within the formation itself. Sounds like a bad idea. Sounds like a bad idea. I think we're just going to get the hell out of here um, and, and, and make sure the crew survives to go do another scientific mission. Yes, uh, those probes are on their way. So we still have 12J, uh, F, C, L, which doesn't seem to have a mission, uh, along with E, along with an unknown structure, which comes complete with corpses. Love corpses. Love corpses. All right, and what is a J? J is a planet. We're gonna fly the tycoon onto the J, and oh, that's cost. It's cutscene. Excellent. No tubes. Can't see any tubes. Excellent. There's a red dot in the middle of that. A probe has completed its scan. Why is the Pinasari a bright red dot? I'm assuming it's the Pinasari. Why? Okay, I, I know we need to visit you. We will visit you. We're just not going to do it just yet. Uh, okay, a we're going to arrive. We're gonna double check on science. We're going to find something worth researching. Okay, so there was that, which is 20 fewer workers. Sounds good because I don't, obviously don't have enough workers in that uh, sector. So there is the power cost reduced by 10 which requires the worker analytics in the polymer factory, which is this one, which requires the intelligent record, which requires the division of tasks. Production speed increase, production speed increase, production speed increase. So we could do that. We could also do the whole temple, which we already did. Uh, we could do the observatory, which I don't have a need for. Uh, uh, Batteries, batteries, batteries. Charging rate is increased by 75%. Shot, done. An accident um, has occurred in the typhoon. Waste management. Recycling electronics is 20% faster? Well, we are making electronics. Maybe. Maybe we do that. Um, yeah, we'll finish this. We'll start, we'll queue this one up. And then, if all else fails, we'll just go straight in the polymer refinery and we'll just do the polymer. Okay. Uh, 12J. Scans of 12J have picked up unusual electromagnetic activity on its surface. Although of not great intensity, it would seem an electromagnetic wind traverses the planet. The ship's PA became corrupted during a descent to 12G and we had to shut it down. As a result, we can only transmit partial information. Guided by the wind currents of the planet, we were able to locate a suitable landing area. Angular and extraordinary crystalline structures composed of sodium chloride being salt uh, rise from the planet's surface. Our time on 12J must be short. Its electromagnetic activity seems to be impacting the gear and its systems. Okay. So we can do study the crystalline formations. Uh, study the salts using gear's onboard analysis tool. 
or gears will focus on researching unless you make activity of 12j that sounds like we're getting out of the ship that says onboard analysis tool Yeah, like that's salt. It's salt. Let, let, let's 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 go for the electromagnetic. You know, big risk, big reward. Something along those lines. Okay, grab the probe and we do the pattern. Oh, oh, oh! No, there's something. There's a bit of carbon there. Is that all? It's there. Looks like it. Uh, swing the mouse around and see if we've got everything. Yeah, so it looks like it's the only thing. All right, so I want to go to sector number one. Uh, we're going to change you to be missile countermeasures. We're going to change you to be missile countermeasures. I'm going to leave you as probes. And then just to make sure we have the right things loaded, we're just going to fire all three of them off. And that way we're guaranteed that the two that are meant to have any missiles will have any missiles in it because i'm pretty sure when you want any missiles you want any missiles ready to go a not a hang on let us build some and load them up for you yeah okay i was carrying out spectrum spectrometric spectrometric yep analysis the team in the gear located a source of electromagnetic in em emissions coming from an angular tunnel with crystalline composition sides of the tunnel reflect like mirrors. The teams report detail how they advanced dark ships move, moved within the mirror-like walls and removed the crew's reflective reflected selves. These accounts would be dismissed as hallucinations. However, the visual capture from the team confirms the reports and only one crew member appears to still possess their reflection. Psychological monitoring of the gear team registered rising levels of panic amongst its members okay so if your reflection is kidnapped do you continue to the end of the tunnel for science do you break the mirrors or do you leave the planet um look their reflections got stolen we're gonna leave the planet I that seems like the way to go. I, I, I know I'm chickening out. I know, I know that. I 100% agree with you. I'm chickening out, but it's fine. All right, we're going to move on to 12F. Uh, we had a look at this planet. It's very white and white with a touch of red. Uh, there is definitely a red dot out there that looks like it's very mean and doesn't like us. I don't want to be inside the, the ship. I want to be on the outside of the ship so we can fly to the next one. Because we might as well follow the ship around because we can fly around. That's just nothing apart from a little bit of steel, which now we're in a new sector with iron nice and close to us. We can mine that. Not a problem. And we can fill up the stores. And why the hell not? Uh, we get we get to look at the pretty scenery outside. Yeah. There's also a giant cloud that I'm going to avoid. Yeah, we just put... Hang on. Yeah, that is definitely a bit, a bit of sorry. Because it just moved across the sun. Which in our relation to where we're moving. Yep. Okay. Good to know. Giant red dot that's so bright we can see it in space over a planet. Is the bad guy. Okay. Uh, science. So we were out of options basically. We did that one. We've got fully upgraded dark drones. So we need to get division tasks to then get intelligent record to get then get worker analytics. Memorials. I already have this one, which is food specialization. We do have. I don't have tier two, so let's look. Let's look at the specializations. Uh, I have space tier two. I have Probe industry tier one. I have population tier one. So I do have a population tier one in tier three, in, in sector three. I have an in industry tier one, and I have a food tier one. Sector five. What is sector five and three? Oh, power. Power. A probe has completed its scan. Okay. And happiness record. 10, 11, 14, 11, 13, 9. Why is that yellow? Hang on. Extra hours. Why is it extra hours? Can I ship in some people? Uh, let's go with 10. Uh, let's go 
four. Sector four to sector six. Uh, only workers. Can I get a no, pause? That's not the number I wanted. I get 20. Uh, there. And then I can move colonists. Colonists from six to four. Start migration. Uh, can I turn off? We'll just turn off the hospital. Because I have two of them. I wonder how many people got boo-boos and died. Hopefully none, because I didn't mean to overwork you. Uh, yeah. Look, we're maxed out food, so it's not really an issue. I could probably just turn off one whole set of farms, but I didn't mean to complete. Okay. And yeah, I'm guessing there was just a lot of people in the hospital. Look, that's an extra 40 workers. Yeah. No idea. Uh, where were we? We were here at 12F. Oh, that's what I was looking at. Research. Research. Uh, we were going to do you. And Bashies are done. Uh, Colonist training? Reduce the training cycle by one cycle. I don't really care. Uh, oh, we were looking at memorials. Okay. So I can get... That's food specialization. I have industrial specialization. Uh, specialization. So... Do we, in the industrial sectors, being sector 2, do we have a Mardok mem uh, memorial? No. Do we have one in the recycling one? Yes, you have just one of everything. Okay. So I could do that one. And the other one's the population one, which is in sector... Who's the one that has the population? Three. But you only have eight... Oh, because that adds population specialization. And obviously a lot of it. Okay. Plus 14 happiness. Yeah, I don't really think they require that. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, this is the thing. Like, we're, we're in the end game. Like, what research is required? None. None is required. Okay. Uh, 12F. So, uh, 12F has an average temperature of 112K. Number of hot spots were detected across the surface. We've also... Why is there no picture? Hang on. There's no picture. Can I look at the planet? Holy an crap. An accident has occurred in the typhoon. Yeah, there's always accidents. It's fine. Okay. Say that again. All right. Uh, hot spots were detected across the surface. We've also locked on an extremely deteriorated distress signal. Encoded ID... Identifies the sender as Shimai Rama, who disappeared in the sphere on crack P43. They're the one who dived into the sphere. Oh, okay. Uh, we've landed on 12F. Its surface covered in ice. Planets bathed in a red mist around 100 meters in height. Numerous ice formation appears the mist and extends skyward. Atmosphere radiates a blue light when illuminated by the system's pulsar. We've triangulated the location of the distress beacon, identified several sites that could prove suitable for data collection. Okay, so we have uh, the intrusive analysis, the temporary study center, and the advanced analysis. We can also go find Shibshami Rathman. Um, <laughs> Sure, look, it's a distress signal. He might be alive. Probably not. We left him in a whole different system. He's probably dead. It's probably a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. A science ship team has completed a task. Is it a trap? We're having the distress signal coordinates we found and discovered a huge deteriorated medical device half buried beneath the ice. Although of gigantic proportions are very similar to the construction to the emergency beacons of our suits. While studying the surrounding area, we found badly decomposed giant humanoid corpse. Only a few scraps of organic tissue remain on the giant's bones, as well as material fragments of a dollar suit. Organic sampling and DNA analysis have revealed the corpse is that of... Shushani Raman. We are unable to propose a robust theory for our report. Frails, tachyons have been detected in the area, and their atomic characteristics apparently altered. Okay. All right. Well, let's go for it. Uh, infrastructure support, advanced analysis on the rest of the planet, then. Because that's not weird at all. Uh, we're going to send over good old Mule, who's going to need uh, two trips. Two trips. Two trips to dump all that stuff. Uh, we still have CL. 
E, unknown structure, the percent of yourself, and also down here, the, the pulsar. That should grab some science. There's still a few things that we need to check out. Meanwhile, that's ticking along. And I need that one to unlock before we can do the next one. Yeah, it's just, I keep looking at the research. I'm like, what else is there? What else is there that we don't have? Um, like, the steel mill is more efficient, so it's more alloy. It's less iron to make the same amount of alloy. Uh, there's nothing I've seen that saves power. There's the memorials we pointed out. There's the colony training center, as we pointed out. Uh, there is the waste treatment. Don't worry, did that. I already clicked on that. Uh, so that's done as well. Uh, fusion station. That's 15 ice is down 60 water. But 13,000 ice and counting. Yeah, I don't think we're going to hang around long enough to burn through 13,000 ice. Hydrogen, maybe. Because, like, I am burning that. Not super fast, but... Uh, sorry, five... We're burning at a rate of four per cycle. And there's still a lot on the ship, and there's a lot out there, but we are burning through that faster than anything else. Absolutely every, every, everything else combined. All right. Sample analysis indicates that outgassing of nitrogen dioxide from below the surface of the 12F and subsequent... Atmospheric mixing, mixing results in red mist, which dominates the planet's lower atmosphere. The tip of the gear was able to establish parallels between the data sets collected on Crack 43 and 12F's geological activity. Normal levels of frowls tachyons were detected beneath the planet's surface, the cause of which remains unknown. Okay, uh, leave. All right, so we have the bottom side of this weather condition. Now, the ships seem to be able to go through it. I'm not getting a big red mark if I try and fly through it, so it looks like maybe it's safe-ish to fly through. I think after we pick up this, we're going to go for... We're just going to go straight to Pizarri. I, I, I think... Uh, no, maybe we'll go through the Pulsar. We'll go through the Pulsar. We'll pick up the 44 science there because it's free. You never know. Maybe we need to research something suddenly uh, after we actually open up the Pinsari, pin, pin, a, pin a seat, whatever, whatever. Um, as for the rest of the ship, like, I don't know. Where are we up to in training colonists? Uh, 208. Uh, non workers, 138. Okay, so can I ship from 5 uh, to 4? Uh, non workers, I have 138. So we ship over 138. And then from four to five, uh, colonists, one, three, eight. Okay, you're all done. You got 803, which I believe is just 800 after we take the three that are on ships. Uh, you have 70 colonists. Okay, so from four to two, uh, colonists, 70. Uh, we're going to mail them into sector number two, which has the right amount. Yep. And then complete. we go from non colonists from two to four. Done. So you have 580 colonists. You have 398 colonists from round numbers. You have zero. You have zero. You have 327. That actually includes the 70 that are on their way. And you have another 220. So what's that? That's 560, 960, uh, we call that 1,200, 1,500 colonists, and uh, 200, 800, uh, 1,500 non-colonists still. Okay, so we're getting there slowly. We're, we're, we're about half half the crew has turned the colonists and half has Okay, we're going to send gear over there. Uh, and just to double check that I grabbed all of this. Yep, we're all scanned out. Alright, so we need to pick up this, then go there. Science-wise, uh, options are... Why is sector 6 got 120 starving people? Uh, you need 40, rec 40 food. It's just because it's such a long distance. Yeah, that just comes into bad planning. There was just not enough room to put it on the other side. Nice and close. Um, 
So the food has to get shipped all the way around, which is probably going to be a problem after a food cycle. If I'm shipping people in and out, that's probably the only time it's going to be a problem. If I'm not shipping people in and out and the, and the, the population's steady, it should be fine. All right. Research. We can do that research. So then I can do that research. Yep. Which is 45. The 40 we're doing, which is, what's that? 85. Uh, in that case, because I can queue them, that's industrial specialization. Sure. I don't, the only ones that I have tier two specialization in is space. So there's pointless there. Uh, did we queue up? I never queued up the observatory. Uh, okay, so with that done, we can do that one. Power cost reduced by 10. It's just going to give me free 10 power. Can't argue with that. Uh, okay, and then you should be done. You are gear. Get away from the bright, shiny light and go over to the Bizarre, where you're probably going to die. Let's be honest. We're, we're sending you into a battleship. Okay. Bizarre has been located. Initial visuals indicate it suffered heavy damage. A sensor is not detecting any activity on board the ship. Right. We've entered the Bizarre. There is neither light source nor gravity within the ship. Many modifications have been made to its structure. The walls are unknown shiny black material that distorts the vision. The corridors we pass through are some what's similar in design to those of Dolos or the UN in some places. However, passageways are almost organic in shape. Okay. We did discover a large memorial. The statue in the center is obscured by many cables, pipes, and conduits lead away from, from it to the ship. We could make out the words property of BMS at its base, and then if the team was not so uh, anxious, we would have stopped to carry out further observations. I sort of understand. Okay, you, you, you're on an enemy battleship that's powered down. It's not dead. We, we've, we've had nobody confirm that they put in the killing shot. Uh... So it's a population specialization, which we have one of. So we'll do that one as well. Um, we've just had a confirmation that it's powered down because it fired its large, um, I guess, gas giant killing weapon because it definitely killed that gas giant. And when firing that, we found out the, through the story text that it used lots of power and therefore would need to time to recuperate. And it's parked around a pulsar star. Probably did recuperate. A science um, has completed a task. Yep, I'm looking at the research tree and I'm seeing nothing. Uh, is that unlocked? Has occurred in a tycoon. No, because that's just less steel. I don't care. You cost like 300 steel per nuclear power plant. We just dumped down three of them. We found them. The device is holding the Remus coordinates. They're behind heavy reinforced doors. We tried several different approaches to open it, but haven't even succeeded in scratching it. Connecting the tycoon and Eden to the Bensari would allow us to power uh, and reactivate the door's control subsystems. The connection is also necessary for the extraction transfer of the Remus coordinates from the devices to the Tycoon. Oh! Administrator, one other thing. Shortly before we found the devices, we passed the Evici of Gino Vili Bas... Bat... Bat... Batistava? Batistava? Yeah. Uh, former member of the Marta Council. So from memory, he was the one that was... um. Eating an apple at the start of the tycoon has been orbit of the Benzari. Oh, God. This is when everything goes downhill. Please, fly very close to the enemy ship, just so you're definitely in range when it decides to fire up its missiles and its uh, magic special planet-killing weapon, so you definitely have very, very far to run away should something go wrong. You were heading straight towards the red light. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, from memory, he was the one right at the start that was eating an apple. Um, yeah, it seems like the whole Marduk Council, they've all factioned off after we blew up the moon, probably from blaming one another and started their own factions. Um, the Black Market Society seems to have turned into the Bizarre, which is, yeah. Uh, also, there was the UN... The UN, we've definitely found different members of the Marduk Council reference to so maybe one or two of them joined the un as well i don't know um i don't know there's a lot of law to try and keep straight 
Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, he seems a little bit bigger. At least there's some shrapnel flowing off him at the back. But, uh... Okay. He seems a little bit happier and bigger than I thought he might be. Once again, we're just tiny, absolutely minuscule in, minuscule in comparison. Okay, why do we park in front of the ship? Like, most ships don't have weapons hanging out the rear. Can we not park at the rear of the ship, like where the engines are? Oh, boy. Naomi Protocol, extract coordinates. Did you hear those explosions too? Yeah. Child of ambition. Okay. I didn't even read the flavor text. Is there any way to see what that said? Oh, there is. Uh, starting a, do a D D DDoS attack. Flight network. Eden Vigilance. Uh, once Tokyo is connected, we're able to power short circuit the subsystems reinforced door. Coordinate transfer from devices to Tokyo will then be initiated across the connection. Okay. I have no idea what the flavor text says. Uh, the, 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 the cipher text. We'll put it that way. The cipher text. Okay. So we're going to just do a, a DOS attack uh, point blank, parked right outside against the subsystem where we already know it took out the UN by. Um, spoofing their internal comm yep yep this can't be good this can't be good uh actually you know what you know what? i i feel like uh this might be a time to do just just crank a little bit more power out of the system just a tiny bit 116 116 okay uh engines are whoop, whoop, whoop. nope nope one more thing uh back to sector one let's power up that as well yeah that way i have four of them to repair Yep. Okay. Just, 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 just in case. It's a just in case, you know, just in case we need the extra power, we need the extra repair functionality. It's already primed and ready to go. Has completed a task. Okay. Administrator, the Pizarre is reactivating. We've had to manually break the connection with the Taiku interrupting the coordinate transfer. The damn walls started to move. Thanks to our exoskeletons, we are making for the gear as fast as we can. That's not good. It's really not good. The pure Nazi has deployed a drone swarm around itself. We should move the tycoon immediately. Okay, with literally shit hitting the fan, there's a drone fleet coming. The ship is powering up. The walls are moving in on our uh, science crew. You know what I'm going to do? And do that horrible thing. Right, end the episode here. Yep. I can't get a better cliffhanger than this. So this is going to be today's cliffhanger. We're going to come back in the next episode. Leave your votes down below. Leave your votes down below. Do we keep moving? Do we stand and fight? Or do we just get the ship out of there and leave the crew behind? Uh, keep moving the crew of the gear. I'm rushing back to the ship. They'll make it sure. Stand and fight. The gear. The crew of the gear will receive a galvanizing missive. I think that's meant to be massive. Uh, boost to their morale. They'll never reach the gear, but they can still prove useful before they're passing. Or the team is like, ooh unlikely to make it well that was a misclick the good news is the science ship came back uh okay well this is where we're gonna leave it then because i didn't mean to click on that but this is where we're gonna leave it i will see you guys in the next episode where now the crew is already dead so you can now delete your comment and say oops instead uh yeah leave me an oops down in the comment section um because that is i think the third crew we've lost in like not many episodes um chris cheap right
right, right. But um, their, their ship is powering up, which can't be good for us. Anyway, like I said, I need to end this episode here. Thank you for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I do hope that we survive the next episode. Uh, but with all that said, I'll see you guys in the very next video. All right, bye.